masks, right? You gotta wear one, but uh, you probably have questions. What's the best one to buy? Where do I get them? Well, stick around, because after the break, I'm gonna talk about the best masks for rideshare drivers. Hi, this is Gabe Betts Hoken with The Rideshare Guy. Today, we're gonna talk all about masks. What's the best mask? What are masks made out of? What are the best materials? And what kind of features do you want on your mask? So uh, we're just gonna jump right in there. We're not gonna talk about why you need a mask or if you should wear a mask or are your rights being infringed on if you're wearing a mask, whatever, because you have to wear a mask. So what you want is the most effective and comfortable mask that you can buy. So let's talk about what you need to look for in a mask. So a mask should have a perfect blend of the, uh, the features and the comfortable fit and the protection that you need. Also, it should be a reasonable price because you can't just have one. You're gonna wanna wash these every day or two because if you're wearing them for eight or 10 or 12 hours a day, they're gonna start to smell like mouth and uh, nobody likes that. So please read the story at Rideshare Guy because there's a lot more information there about why we wear masks and what they do. But basically what I did was bought about a dozen different masks and tried them all on and wore them for extended periods. I also did a lot of research about what kinds of materials are used in masks and kind of different features. Also studies about uh, how good masks are at protecting people. Um, so based on that information, I came up with a lot of different kinds of materials and features that you might want to look for in a mask. And I'm just going to talk about all those features so you can make a decision yourself. Okay, let's talk about materials first. The first material we're going to talk about is cotton. Um, and that's just a cotton like this t-shirt right here, like the Ride, Gear, Ride Share Guy t-shirt. Uh, cotton is a really good choice because it breathes really well, it's comfortable, it feels cool, it's easy to wash, um, but some disadvantages, it's maybe not as thick as it should be, and when it gets wet, like from your condensation from your breath, um, it kind of it can restrict breathing. Okay, another material is like a cotton polyester blend. Um, and let's see, this, this right here, you can feel this, it's really soft and it's really stretchy and it's, it's great because it covers your face really well. Um, but also, but one problem with polyester blend is if you can see this, right? Uh, as it stretches, it uh, the, the fabric becomes less dense. So it's it's easier to for breath to get through it. Okay, another material is this, uh, is this super stretchy stuff. And this is, a, this is a solution that a lot of people are using. It meets the letter of the law you know, you put it on like this and you pull it down over your eyes um, and you know, it's okay, but it, it doesn't stay on very well over your whole face. And also you can see, like I can feel my breath right here. So it's not such a good choice, I think for all day wear. Um, but you probably have one of these in your closet or already like this one I think is from like REI or, uh, or some beer company. Like they give these things away. Um, as swag so they're really easy to find however i don't think it's a comfortable thing to wear all day okay other other features i want to talk about uh the first one is the ear loops that's super important now the important thing about ear loops is that if if it's not a perfect fit right out of the box then it's going to be uncomfortable to wear all day like this one the loops are a little bit small and then on this one the loops were a little bit big so i tied a knot in them for my for my kid right so he could wear it so uh, there might be a little bit of adjustability, but basically these were for a, you know, a bigger head. Uh, and uh, I also like this mask here. It has, you see how it has the pleats? I should talk about pleats a little bit. These pleats, what they do is they give you a lot more adjustability and also the pleats can maybe even give you a little extra, a little extra, uh, a little extra layer of material. By the way, speaking of extra layers of material, you definitely want a mask that is constructed of multi layers of material. I'll show you one. This one, can you see this one? This is black on one side and white on the other side. So there's there's two layers here, and uh, this is this is pretty effective. They even make masks that have um, four layers, right? Because there's like a pocket in between. And then you can actually put a disposable or rewashable filter in there so that this mask will actually, so that the mask will actually protect you as well as your passengers um, from uh, COVID-19 transmission or, you know, protect it somewhat, so somewhat better. Um, downside to that is that those filters make it easier, make it harder to breathe. 
Another thing that you want to look for in the ear loops is that the um, is that the fabric on the ear loops is elastic. That's going to make them a lot more comfortable. Also, like I said before, you want to get something with adjusters. Here's a mask that I really liked, and it has everything. It's got a nose wire, it's got adjusters, it's got pleats, it's got two layers, and the, the fabric is a blend, but it feels like a nice, thick cotton t-shirt blend. So it's really, really soft, really comfortable. I like wearing these masks a lot. So look, look for something that has these features. I could tell you, uh, you know, which, which Amazon listing I got this from, but I mean, by the time you watch this video, that, that manufacturer probably sold out of those. And, but you can buy the identical thing from another manufacturer somewhere else. And I want to mention one more thing about buying from Amazon, which as we all know is incredibly convenient. However, you got to be careful that you're buying from a US based retailer. Amazon itself does not sell that many different kinds of cloth, uh, reusable masks, but they do have a lot of vendors on the Amazon platform. A lot of these guys are in mainland China and you will wait a really long time to get your mask, sometimes up to two months. So make sure it says US retailer so that you're getting right from them because not only does it ship to you much, much faster, sometimes overnight, but also when you in that mask and you get it and it's terrible quality, like it happened to me a bunch of times and you don't want it anymore and then you try to send it back, they're gonna say, oh yeah, just send it back uh, China Post. It's it's only $70 and, uh, and then we'll refund your money. You're like, but I only paid $3 for the mask. They know that you're not gonna return it. And that's why they do that. One other issue that our readers pointed out in the story is uh, fogging, right? So if you're wearing a face mask and you're also wearing glasses, you'll notice that your glasses can fog up. Now, like I said earlier, make sure that the breath isn't coming out. If you have a nose wire, that's gonna alleviate a little bit, but still the water vapor coming out through the mask is still gonna fog up your glasses. So uh, the only suggestion I could really come up with is uh, purchasing some kind of anti-fog uh, anti -fog spray on, on uh, Amazon. That's where I got it or anywhere. Any uh, opticians will, might have an anti-fog spray. And you just uh, soak it, you rub it off. And then it should help a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I hope all this was really, really helpful for you. Um, I had a good time trying out all these different masks. I hope uh, finding a comfortable mask makes your day a little bit better. I want you to stay safe out there. Um, don't put up with passengers who don't wanna follow your rules in your car and don't drive yourself crazy. Thanks a lot for watching and make sure you click subscribe so that you can watch more of these helpful videos every week.